Who's out there trying to flip houses in Akron, Ohio, y'all? Anybody? I hope so, because that's what we're doing today. We're going to talk about Akron. We're going to talk about flipping them houses, the good, the bad, the pros, the cons. Because one of my clients sent me a deal in Akron, wants to know if he's going to make a boatload of money. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I'm going to work work with y'all to help you flip some hasses in Akron. Man, my guy Mark. Mark, you sent me this one. 1012 Jefferson Avenue, Akron, Ohio, 44302. Been on the market a little bit over a month. 39K is the price, 79,900. I'm sorry, 39 days is the number of days on the market. 79,900 is the price. I don't have a lot to go off of here, so we got to... We got to make some assumptions, right? All the listing agent provided us was two exterior photos, right? So that's tough uh, to really get a base of what we're doing here. Uh, however, you know, I've renovated so many houses cosmetically, I could come up with like a nice guesstimate for you as to what we would need to do on the interior, right? Because you're going to have to, there's a scenario where you're buying this thing and you're not doing the kitchen, the bath, the floors, the walls, etc. But it could get a little deeper. And that's where I think this is tough, right? Because I, I think you're working on a deal here that's already going to have like an extremely thin, um, thin margin, right? Like, I don't think this is a good neighborhood to try to flip houses in, to be honest with you, Mark. I, I think, guys, when you guys are looking at these types of neighborhoods, this is a neighborhood that's got very low ARVs, right? And actually trying to put it all together where you have a decent spread, seller gets paid, brokers get paid, contractor gets paid, and you guys make money, oftentimes there's really not enough meat on the bone. Like, for this particular property, like... The highest you're going to get is an ARV of like 110, 120, and that's going to go to like an owner occupant buyer, first time home buyer. But flipping houses in areas where first time home buyers at the low end of the spectrum like that are, you're dealing with a lot of credit challenged buyers. So it's pretty, pretty tough, right? You see a lot of other comps on this street that are going to sell like in and around this price range as well, right? It's primarily like a better neighborhood, I think, to focus on like rental properties. Like if you're going to be in the neighborhood dude i think you're just you get properties like this you make them look okay cosmetically and then you're slapping in section eight tenants that's probably uh the the most cost effective way to do this right you're probably renting a thing for like a thousand eleven hundred right to actually think you're going to come in and make like a twenty five thirty thousand dollar profit on this flipping it i don't see how that's possible especially with the price that this person's looking for right like seventy nine thousand nine hundred i mean just to give you the idea of like uh, where the seller's at. Like, the seller bought this sucker for 24 k right? So the property hasn't been in great condition for a very long time. The guy bought it for 20 k uh, and, like, what do we need inside of it, right? Like, at the bare minimum, like, bare, bare minimum, what do you need? I don't know, like, thirty, maybe $40,000 to get it, like, super good. Structural issues, I don't know. Uh, it, neighborhoods like this where the houses go vacant, uh, like, do we have a furnace that's been taken away? Do we have a hot water tank that's been stolen? Has the copper been stolen? Do we need a new roof, right? Like 20, like cosmetically, right? Like 35, 40K maybe, right? I including going in there, doing windows, uh, making everything to the nines on the inside, ready for first-time home buyers. What else do you got, right? On the outside, maybe it needs a roof, right? 7K. So, I mean, you could get yourself up to 50K on this sucker, right? So 80, 50, I mean, that's already takes you to 130. You're already 10, 20K higher than the best possible case scenario. Doesn't even account the 7% commissions, title fees, this or that. Like, I just don't see a path forward. I don't see how uh, furthering any due diligence on this one, putting up additional money to go in and do an inspection to see exactly what is or is not missing inside the house it is worth anybody's time, right? There's just It's just a neighborhood with no spread. And at the very least, like maybe we got some long shot chance 
to pull off a flip for you where you're probably like, what, five grand, ten grand? I mean, there's it's just it just starts at the beginning. The issues with this property at the beginning are there's a very, very, very low spread in a neighborhood like this, number one, and then you have so much limited information, you're just kind of chasing your tail. It doesn't make sense, right? It's not the best use of your time and money. I think you'd be better moving on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.